So we've got a parallelogram here. Parallelogram will tell us that from O to C and A to B are the same vectors. From O to A and C to B are the same vectors. And we have some ratios here. Now when it says a ratio of AB to BP is 2 to 1, that means that if this length has a length of 2, this length would have a length of 1. And if CQ to QB has a ratio of 1 to 3, then when CQ is 1, Q to B is 3. Now that's the ratio. We don't know if those are the actual lengths. We don't know if that's centimeters or meters or if it could be doubled, all of these things for actual lengths, but they hold that ratio. So in other words, from the ratios that are given, you would know that this whole length could be 4 because of the ratio of 1 to 3. So we want to figure out each of these vectors in terms of only A's and B's, and those ratios will help us figure that out. Do you want a head start or do you want to just do these together? Okay, I'll give you guys a head start. A to B, did you get negative A plus B? A to P is the same as going three halves of the way from A to B. Can you see why it's three halves? So now we're going to get, again, multiply that through, so it's going to be three halves of negative a, so negative three halves a plus three halves b. Because going from a to p is like doing a to b one and a half times. Now, o to p, well, if I wanted to go from o to p, I could go from o to a and then from a to p. And since I know that O to A is A, and I've already figured out what A to P is, I can write O to P as negative one half A plus three halves B. O to Q, well, I could get from O to Q by going from O to, well, depending on how you want to get there, but we could go from O to C and then C to Q. And because it's a parallelogram, O to C is the same as going from A to B. So o, A to B was negative A plus B. And C to Q, well that's the same direction as O to A, but it's only going to be one quarter of it. Plus one quarter and A to B, I mean sorry, O to A was vector A. So putting this together we're going to have negative three-quarters A plus B. Part B says, show that Q to P is one-quarter A plus one-half B. And so the position vectors that we already made, and as many position vectors as you can make, helps you because every time you make a position vector, you can go back to the origin and then go from that origin to another point. So since we already figured out what the position vector OQ is, 
you can now do negative OQ. So from before we had OQ as negative 3 quarters A plus B. And from before, we figured out that O to P was negative 1 half A plus 3 half B. Distribute this negative through, add your like terms. We're going to get 3 quarters A minus 1 half A. That will be 1 quarter A. You're going to get negative B plus 3 halves B, which will be 1 half B. And that is what we wanted to show.